Welcome to Daily Yoga. Today will be your first class. This class will introduce you to the basic asanas of yoga. Let's get started. Begin in Mountain Pose, Tadasana. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Clasp your hands together with the palms facing up. Stand tall, lifting through the top of your head. Inhale, press the palms toward the sky stretching the arms overhead. Gaze up, lengthen your spine, reach as tall as you can. Exhale, bend the elbows and relax your arms down, keeping the hands clasped together. Inhale, press the palms toward the sky, stretching the arms and gazing up. Exhale, bend the elbows and lower the Let's do the same thing, but add a heel lift. Inhale, press the palms to the sky and lift the heels off the ground, stretching the arms up. Exhale, relax the arms down and bring heels to the mat. Again, inhale, stretch the arms up, squeeze the calves and lift the heels. Exhale, relax back down to the mat. One more time, press up and squeeze. Exhale, relax back down to the mat. Now place your hands on the opposite elbow. Inhale, raise the arms overhead with your forearms above the crown of your head. Exhale, lift the heels, squeezing the calves, thighs, and glutes. Press into the balls of the feet, lifting your heels as high as you can. For better balance, gaze down at the mat and pull your abdomen in. Good. Exhale. Relax the arms down and the heels to the mat. Take a nice deep breath here, relaxing your shoulders. Now cross your arms, touching your hands to the opposite shoulder and lift your elbows. Begin making circles with your head to stretch and warm up the neck. Breathe as you roll the head back gently. Exhale, rolling the head forward. Switch directions, circling the head a few times the other way. Focus on relaxing your neck muscles and shoulders. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, relax your arms down. Now we will do some chair pose squats. Bring your feet together. Place your hands on your thighs. Exhale, bend your knees, lowering your hips. Inhale, straighten the knees. Exhale, bend the knees. Keep your hands resting on the knees as you squat in chair pose. Now we'll make circles with the knees. Start to circle the knees in one direction keeping your hands resting on the knees. Switch directions for a couple circles and come back to chair pose. Exhale, place your palms on the mat. Step back and lower your knees to the floor. You may need a folded blanket under the left knee for more support. As you inhale, Allow your belly to dip as you lift your gaze and your tailbone. Don't shrug the shoulders. Press the palms into the mat, lifting the ears away from the shoulders. 
Exhale, round the spine, tucking the tailbone and the chin. Hug the abdomen in. Inhale, dip the belly once again, lifting the tailbone and the gaze for cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, tucking the chin and tailbone for cat pose. With the inhale, we lift the gaze and drop the belly. With the exhale, we round the spine and hug the abdomen in. Come back to center. Now we'll do a gentle wrist stretch. Turn your right fingertips toward your right knee, pressing the back of the hand onto the mat. Gently straighten your arm, stretching the back of the wrist. Over time, your wrists will get stronger. So don't worry if they're a little bit sore your first few times practicing yoga. Breathe and be gentle here. Release your hand and roll the wrist a few times. Now point the left fingertips toward the left knee with the palm up, the back of the hand on the mat. Be gentle. Breathe as you stretch. Keep your fingers spread wide. And release. Roll the wrist a few times each way. Plant both palms on the mat. Now bring your forearms onto the mat with your elbows directly under your shoulders. Clasp your hands together. Walk your knees back slightly, lowering your hips a little bit. Instead of lifting the hips and dropping the belly, hug the abs in and tuck the tailbone. Keep the shoulders over the elbows. Keep the hips at shoulder height. Breathe and pull the belly button in toward the spine. Press the forearms onto the mat. Now make sure your toes are tucked under and lift the knees off the ground for dolphin plank pose. Keep your body flat in one straight line and hug the abdomen in. Shoulders are over elbows. Engage the thighs. Exhale, release the knees to the mat and lower your body onto your belly. Relax here for a deep breath. Now rest your chin on the mat. Stretch your arms down at your sides with the palms facing down next to your hips. Lengthen your legs behind you and point the toes. Press your palms into the mat. As you exhale, lift the right leg in the air behind you, pointing the toes. Inhale, lower the leg tapping the toe down. Exhale, lift and squeeze the right glute muscles. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, squeezing the thigh and calf. Inhale, lower. Now lift the left leg as you exhale, pointing the toe. Inhale, tap the toe to the mat. Exhale, lift, squeezing the glutes and thighs. Inhale, lower. One more time, lift as high as you can and relax. Good. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Press yourself up onto your hands and knees. Then sit off to one side, bringing your legs forward. 
sit up nice and tall. Keep the right leg straight and bend the left knee, placing the left foot on the right inner thigh, relaxing the left knee open. Flex the right toes toward the sky. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist your spine to the left. Place your right hand on the left knee and your left hand on the mat behind you. Use your hands to help you twist a little deeper. Make sure you're sitting up very tall. Now bend the right knee, placing the right foot on the left inner thigh. Relax the right knee open. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist the spine to the right. Place the left hand on the right knee. Place the right hand on the mat behind you, supporting your twist. Make sure you're not leaning back. Lift up tall through the crown of your head. Engage the left thigh. Squeeze the abdomen. And inhale, return to center, straightening both legs. Now come onto your back with the knees bent and feet planted. Hug your right knee into the chest, interlacing your hands over the right shin. If it's comfortable for your low back, straighten the left leg out on the ground. Inhale, let the right knee move away from you, straightening the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows, drawing the right knee closer to the chest. Move back and forth a few times with the right knee. When you're ready, plant both feet back on the mat. Now hug the left knee into the chest, interlacing your hands over the left shin. Straighten the right leg onto the ground if it's comfortable for your low back. Begin pulsing the left knee in and out exhaling as you squeeze the knee toward the chest inhaling to move the knee away from you then release both legs straight out onto the ground now we will come into our final resting pose shavasana which means corpse pose in sanskrit this means that your body will be completely still and relaxed Close your eyes and allow every muscle of your body to soften and let go. Imagine no resistance in your body, no controlling and no holding, complete surrender from head to toe. Even your breath is flowing without you noticing. Yoga can be very challenging when you're first starting out, but it's important to have self-discipline even just by practicing five to 10 minutes a day, will increase your strength and flexibility, helping you to build a good habit. Stay positive and congratulate yourself on your good efforts. See you next time.